So listen up, I'm about to tell you why new humans are not genetically prepared for all the new technology to be able to thrive in its environment, right? So let's think like historically. Genetically, people come from backgrounds where it's like it's snowy, it's hot and humid, you know, desert. Maybe you got to get used to living in a area where there's a little bit of water or you got to get used to living in an area where there's a lot of bugs. Genetically, you become used to your elements you know but it's only after generation generation generations you know in 2021 we live in an environment where technology is progressing faster than we're able to adapt to ever since the industrial revolution in the early 1900s when smog and pollution chemicals everything else was being produced at an exponential rate before that we were used to living and breathing somewhat clean air you know other than being around a train the train was the most pollutive thing out there at one point that was power with steam you know steam and coal you know fast forward 100 years we're farming at a grand level that means pesticides all the animals the, the manure and everything you gotta think about the the byproduct that comes from those animals because now we're losing quality and exchanging quality for quantity because we have so many more people to feed everyone's moving at a much faster rate so you got to feed those people you know so you're exchanging quality for quantity. So when you swap out the quality, that means you're swapping out an element of good health too. Because now you got to think of the environment of which our food is coming from. Remember I said that the, that the environment has changed as well for us. So it's, in, it's been changed for everything. It's been changed for our plants that we eat. It's been changed for the animals that we eat. Because now we're doing farming for plants and animals. That means huge quantities of chemicals. The animals we eat, get fed food that is produced at a cheap rate so it's not necessarily the food that's even actually good for them you know today it's all about having food that could be grown quickly so they can grow quickly and they can be killed quickly so basically born killed cooked repeat born kill cook born kill cook born kill cook repeat they're finding every way they can to make it so that it's easier to grow crops and produce these animals these days we get animals that live on a farm they live in very close quarters so bacteria is able to run rampant that's the reason why they have to give them so many antibiotics and they give them the, the steroids so they can get big and stay strong in that horrible environment so the animals are eating food that's not necessarily good for them a lot of animals just eat will just eat anything like a pig pig will eat anything if you don't think a pig will eat anything you don't know much about pigs I'll give you an example pigs think similar to like kind of how dogs think have you ever seen a dog eat its own poop they have to take all kinds of injections just to keep them alive so they can even make it to your plate because all that bacteria around them if it wasn't for those shots those animals would be dead a lot of them would die or suffer from some kind of diseases that's bad for business for them to try to sell you an animal that has diseases so they eat processed food filled with artificial ingredients and chemicals they got to take injections to fight off all those diseases and bacteria that they live in you know like walking in their own poop all day or eating a fellow member's poop you know and this is why it's important to watch where you get your source of food science has already shown that you can get all the minerals vitamins aminos protein all that stuff outside of meat now you can eat meat but it's not necessarily necessary for survival anymore i mean we live in 2021 we have technology at our fingertips in the beginning i said that the current human is not genetically prepared for the current world we live in today like it's not ready technology civilization everything around us has been advancing faster than our than our genetics can advance you see so if you're eating an overly abundant amount of like processed food and just a whole bunch of stuff that's not necessarily good for you take a step back you know try to introduce more fresh fruits and vegetables into your life more micronutrition you know so some of those green drinks spirulina chlorella those type of things chlorophyll they've been scientifically proven to help detox your body and these days that's what you need you need to find ways to detoxify yourself so many things against us these days without us even having to try like just from you walking around and breathing the air and just eating regular food and trying to drink some regular drink you're gonna have something that isn't meant to be in your body 
knowledge is power so what i've been doing is taking steps to give myself whatever chance i can to give myself the best chance of longevity as possible just because we don't have the solution or all the answers to everything doesn't mean you shouldn't be trying doesn't mean you shouldn't be trying to push towards some type of truth or enlightenment or try to make yourself better in some sort of way you know little steps whatever you can do peace